Hey guys, 123 ALG Productions here today. Give a quick breakdown of the I Apple iPhone operating system 4.0 um, from the conference. I'll just give you the facts right here. So the first thing is um, multitasking. And here's some of the features you can read. Pause the video. Look at those quickly. But basically, you'll have this really user, really friendly user interface. You'll be able to switch apps really quickly. Something like talking on Skype and browsing your email and going on the internet at the same time uh, looks very nice. Also folders is a new program very easy user interface just drag your applications into organized folders you can name the folders games and tools and stuff like that looking forward to that next is an updated email application so you'll have all your email clients all your emails into one stream so you can look at them all at once you won't have to switch around if you want to you can but still a unified inbox also the iBook store available for, available for the iPad and now the iPod touch and iPhone smaller screen but still also we have game center so you'll be able to take your apps and games and have uh, you'll be able to invite your friends sort of like Xbox 360 but for the iPhone and iPod touch you'll be able to make matches like something like tap tap revenge sort of thing but for all your games you'll be able to have leaderboards something we already have these but this is just organized by apple it will look a lot cleaner you also have achievements which is really nice next thing is the apple i ad and this is the mobile advertising platform that apple has created so you'll be able to You'll be able to post ads within your own applications to get 60% of the profit. But these ads are nothing like you've ever seen before. They're almost like applications within applications. Users will want to see these ads. I know I would. It looks really cool. So that's kind of the best ad I've ever seen before. And that's Apple iAd. Now this update comes out in the summer for the iPhone and iPod Touch. But also it comes out for the iPad in the fall. Now the one downside to this is it comes out for the iPhone and iPod Touch, but only for the 3GS and iPod Touch third generation where some features like multitasking work. 